Hi, my name is Rob Horkheimer, and I'm here at the Build Accessibility Showroom in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, where I'm going to show to you today exciting technology that can help some individuals to be able to uh, go from dependent transfers to actually independently transferring themselves. And what we have here is called the Independent Lifter Harness by Prism Medical. This harness, again, allows many individuals to be able to transfer themselves where they might otherwise be dependent on caregivers they can now transfer themselves independently. It also gives the advantage where it supports at the trunk and under the thighs uh, but leaves the buttocks area open so if uh, somebody's at risk or has pressure sores or, or skin issues it totally takes contact off of that area. So we, we use this lifter harness in conjunction uh, with a fixed ceiling lift motor and this fixed ceiling lift motor um, has what's called a lateral traverse uh, where I can drive it using these controls uh, left or right along the track uh, just using the hand controller. I can uh, raise and lower uh, the harness uh, to be able to lift myself using this. I'm going to just get into the chair here in our showroom. Uh, people are, are welcome to come into our location on 92nd and Blue Mound uh, and use this system. Uh, we also have physical and occupational therapists on staff who train people uh, to use the system as well. But I just want to do a little demonstration uh, to show how the system works a little bit. So uh, what we can do is from a wheelchair level, I can lower this harness system and I set the thigh support here. Where I can, I can raise up and you'll see the leg straps activate here and I have them cinched fairly tight to start with here already and that's intentional uh, because I want to actually use those thigh straps uh, so that I don't pinch on my uh, shoulders here too much. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring myself up a little bit more here and actually sometimes you can see there is some rotation uh, here with the harness. Uh, sometimes what we do is we set up um, other uh, supports where somebody can kind of orient themselves a little bit better. Uh, but we come up to an upright position. I can lower myself onto the bed and transfer here. Using this harness, I can position my legs. Um, I can elevate the head of the bed too. Uh, to be able to, to control here, to, to let out of the harness. So I could start with the, with the head elevated and that's going to make it a lot easier for the transfer. So using the system now, I can then raise it up and move it over to the side so it's out of the way. And so my system comes over onto the charger. Now to transfer myself out of the bed, I'm gonna bring the lifter harness over and center it here. I'll set these thigh supports under my knees and I can, I can pull forward a little bit using uh, my elbows to, to assist using my biceps. And again, as these thigh supports take weight, um, it's going to hug on my trunk here and squeeze onto the trunk and, and lift me up. And you can see as I'm lifted up that I have no contact on the bony areas in my bottom where some people develop uh, pressure sores and, and skin uh, pressure ulcers. So we'll come over. And again, a lot of times uh, to prevent this, this swinging, we'll use other arm supports to support um, and assist somebody. I'll come down to the chair. And if I, right in this case, I'm using a manual wheelchair. If I have a power chair, um, a lot of times what we can do, because you can see I, my posture is a little bit slouched, is we can, we can come up, I can use the controller of that power chair to drive the chair ahead a little bit, uh, maybe tilt it back if I have that uh, function uh, with the with the power chair as well. Um, you know, but there are other things that we can do 
uh, to support somebody uh, to be able to get their, their self positioned uh, using the system as well. So we've used this system for individuals where they are able to manage uh, bed transfers like I just showed you here, uh, but we can also configure custom track situations and we can show you some examples of some of those custom tracks uh, so that somebody can actually maneuver themselves uh, throughout through the bedroom, uh, down the hallway, into the bathroom, uh, lower themselves up and down from the toilet um, as to toilet themselves as well as routing these custom tracks so they can manage themselves uh, in and out of the bathtub or shower bench or, or so forth as well. Uh, so this is a great technology. Uh, there's a number of tricks that we have uh, to avoid uh, this system riding up into the armpits and that's really, really important. Uh, so we have physical and occupational therapists on staff uh, that work individually with people uh, to make sure that it's going to work the best for, for what they need specifically and also that it's not going to cause any additional problems. There is a danger um, if we don't contain this right, if we don't set it up the right way and it would ride up into the armpits too much, uh, then we can actually uh, get uh, some uh, damage to, to the nerves that, that come through that area and the vessels. Uh, so we do specific uh, training with people, interventions, and we use some different strategies uh, to make sure that, that that doesn't happen as we go through things together um, and just iron out what's going to work the best. Uh, but it's really amazing when somebody can go from being dependently assisted to now independently managing their transfers. They don't need to require a caregiver uh, to assist them. Um, and using this technology, um, you know, it can be an amazing thing in terms of acquiring uh, much more independence in the home. So we encourage you to come on in uh, to our showroom on 92nd and Blue Mound. Uh, please give us a call if you have any other questions. Um, and visit our website, www.bildnow.com uh, to learn more about the PRISM Independent Lifter Harness. Thank you very much.